Hello there, this is a demo of the Future Sound Systems APAL 3. It's a new Eurorack accessory designed for uh, dope for standard modules. Um, and all it is is a little power adapter um, that goes from a 10 pin header to 16 pin. Um, you can use this with 16 pin to 16 pin also uh, with the unshrouded version. Um, and pretty much what this does is it's it's really designed to give you a 5 volt supply um, off, well, positive and minus 12. So any power supplies that don't have a 5 volt supply, um, you can you can actually get one from just using this. Uh, and this is really for most digital modules out there. Um, for example, the new Mutable Instruments stuff here, I've got the braids. Um, this needs an external um, positive 5 power supply. So as you can see I've got this um, this is all running now just stepping through some of the waveform types um, and the power supply in, in this um, little Eurorack boat is only bipolar 12 um, this thing is actually running off a, an APAL 3 um, by the way this is the shrouded version so this has the, the box around the 10 uh, pin header uh, what I'm using inside here is an unshrouded version which I'll show you in a moment I'll just turn the system off, um, grab the screwdriver and unscrew this. So this can prove quite useful for, as I said, if, you, if you've got a fairly simple power supply um, that is only spitting out a bipolar um, pair of power rails then you can actually get that third Plus five, plus five supply off your plus twelve. So as you can see there, the um, the APAL three is mounted on to the board, uh, just through the sixteen pin socket onto the sixteen pin header. I can disconnect that there for you. You can see there's the back of the braids module, um, and off just this flying lead is the APAL three. So I can disconnect that for you there. By the way, notice I'm I'm using 16-pin um, power connectors throughout this boat. So I've opted for one of the unshrouded version, so I can just use that 10-pin header uh, there, and it doesn't get in the way of um, this 16-pin header where the shrouded version would. You see, I can't can't connect those. Doesn't it? Doesn't work as you'd expect. So um, on the board. I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, I'm not sure how well the camera focuses. Um, you can see it's clearly marked red uh, just above that one capacitor there. So the red stripe goes on that side corresponding to where red is printed. Actually get that right. Um, so hopefully now you can see just this kind of pink strip here is on the same side as the red. I think as you can see Ed. Um, now on the back side, on the um, kind of socket side, um, it also says in very very small writing red and red there. Um, so pretty much red is on the same side of the board on either the top or the bottom. And then if we mount that corresponding to, again I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, um, Hopefully you can make out plus 12, ground, 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 and then minus 12. There we go, that's that's better focus. And you can also see where the plus 5 rail is mounted. That's um, that's typical for um, any dope for standard modules. That's, that's the pair of pins that it goes through. And if you just mount this so the red stripe um, on the power cable meets the minus 12 on the board. So as you can see, I've got this red stripe here and that runs all the way down to the same side of the minus 12 on the module then we get our 5 volts so I can power this on now mount it mounted and it's all lit up and it's all working so I'll just power down and mount this again and plug it in so you can hear it and it's definitely working uh, get my screws um, and we shall see this in action very briefly da, da, da.
Okay, that's good enough. Power on. And find my audio cable. Here we go. And as you can hear, it's working. <laughs> So thank you for watching, that's just a short demonstration of what the APAL 3 is and uh, how you can use it and mount it in a uh, Eurorack setup. Thank you for watching.